Waking at around 4am and hearing strange noises in the room. Just sitting on eggshells, really. I can see shapes of Through there. different people. Yeah. It's like they're surrounding us. If there's nothing here, I guess the whole family's wacko there. <laughs> oh, I've just seen blood all over your face. <laughs> I've just heard screaming. I'm feeling the rigor mortis set in. The rescue mediums are investigating this secluded residence tucked away on St. Andrew's Road, where more than a decade of unexplained activity has the homeowner feeling like his house is not his own. When we first moved here in 1990, there was seemed to be nothing going on. And about the mid-90s, something started happening. I could never look down the stairs going down to the basement. I always felt that there was something looking back at me. The other night I heard shuffling in my room, breathing, electricity. Very often I'll actually say out loud, please go away. Um, I think it's this way. Embracing nature's beauty, the rescue mediums are on their way to help. It's going to take us all day to walk around them. We may not even have time to do a rescue. Oh, I don't know about that. Jackie and Alison are renowned psychic mediums who spend their days and nights showing wayward spirits into the light. Where are we? <laughs> I've stunned into silence for once in my life. <laughs> yeah, that takes some doing, doesn't it? I know. It? Hey, <laughs> cheeky. Clearly, the rescue mediums have been given no prior knowledge of their destination. Even the home's location has been kept secret until now. Although days earlier, they had some intriguing premonitions creative person mm. and I felt there's a musical connection as well. Mm. Cold spots in the property. Feeling odd in a one particular part of the property. Right. Most of the activities seems to be in this room. Late at night whenever I go to sleep it definitely feels like there's something here. A smoky type substance. Mm -hmm. I'd be sitting in, a, in this recliner and out of the corner of my eye I see this dark cloud whisk from the front door to the back room. Waking around 4 a.m. and hearing strange noises in the room. Oh. Four o'clock in the morning, I literally hear a key going into the door. Nobody's there. This one was the first one that I did. In addition to their premonitions, the rescue mediums have created these psychic drawings of what they expect to find during their investigation. It's getting really hard to live like this. It's just like living on eggshells, really. If there's nothing here, I guess the whole family's wacko there. <laughs> I can't understand it. As the ladies near the troubled residence, the homeowner anxiously awaits their help. I hope that the rescue mediums can bail us out of the situation. And if there's anything there, they can guide it to where they're supposed to go and rest in peace. Jackie and Allison are the rescue mediums. Psychics who make house calls. Hello. 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 I'm Jackie. I'm Joe, please. Hello, you. Joe. Lily. Lily. Hi, Lily. Hi, Janie. Hi, In the homeowner's living room, the rescue mediums prepare to present their premonitions. We're going to go through our premonitions. And if you start to tell us any more information than we want you to at this time, we will say, don't tell us any more right now. Just well, like in yeah. court, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Austria, would you understand an Austrian connection? Yep. Yeah. A smoke-type substance that has been seen. Like a dark cloud, more or less. Unexplained banging noises. Mm -hmm. Yep. Waking at around 4 a.m. and hearing strange noises in the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK. Bed covers that have been turned down by unseen hands. 
Yes. Yes. A gardener, you have actually got a beautiful I'm getting goosebumps. garden. And yeah. we actually felt there was prizes that could have been. I keep getting chills. Sorry. Are you? That's just me. Yeah, just as you're talking about gardens and stuff. Really? Yeah. Coming up. There's a man in those trees. I can see it. The investigation gets a surprising bang. I've just heard screaming. And a scream. The rescue mediums are investigating this secluded home on St. Andrew's Road. Hello, Joe. Where the peace of the country life has been disturbed by restless spirits. It's getting really hard to live like this. The rescue mediums begin their spirit hunt by exploring the ground surrounding the home. Let's go that way, shall we? Looks good to me. Yeah. It's like a secret garden, isn't it? Do you know it's just going to say the same? <laughs> Jackie, what? you're feeling tired. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you know, I knew this was a bad idea, coming here with you. Oh, <laughs> it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't it just? Yeah. Did you hear that, then? I can hear something. Right behind us, somebody, like, with heavy boots going... So somebody is definitely following us then, aren't yeah. they? Oh! What? No, was that a bee? Something buzzed past no. my head. It just sort of went, Do you know, like it skimmed me hair. No, Yeah. never saw anything. I'm sure there's a man in those trees I there. can see it. Through there? Yeah. yeah. A spirit is witnessed. A psychic chase ensues. What's on the other side of that tree? Gone through this way, I yeah. think. Yeah. It's gone. Let's take a look in the house, then. Yeah. The spirit trail having gone cold, Jackie and Alison return to the troubled residence to search for clues. Right, let's have a look, then, downstairs, shall we? Yeah. They begin their investigation of the home in the basement. Somebody's touching my hair, Jackie. I can feel it here. Oh. Yeah. I've just heard screaming. Oh, have you? I have. And it was a woman screaming. Really? Yeah. The troubled female spirit disappears. It is a very strange feel, isn't it? Oh, I'm really warm here. Mm. Somebody close. But it's warm and pleasant. Yeah. I've just got a lady who's going, come on now, let's get tidied up. And she's tidying everywhere up and she's straightening all the beds. Those aren't straight, let's go and put those straight. Oh, uh, she's very listen. familiar, I heard it. Somebody else, isn't that? Yeah. Yeah. These are a couple, aren't they? Very a, much an older so. couple. They're looking after it. Yeah, carer. Yeah. Care, like a caretaker. But that couple definitely don't need help. No. Okay. Ooh. Oh, freezing. The room's vibrations suddenly turn troubled. Somebody just walked in here. Well, I could just feel really cold. Yeah. I keep getting like images of this man. I think I've got a stroke condition with him. I certainly feel as though it's all one side. He's gone, just like that. You know, like when we were outside and he kept seeing somebody through the trees and... And then he went. And then he'd go. Yeah. yeah. Well, we need to go and find out. We do. We? OK. Knowing that the spirit needs their help, the rescue mediums move to the main floor in order to find him. Oh, this is highly isn't positive. Beautiful, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. All of these chairs as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's somebody got their arm around my shoulder. I could feel a cold, like a swirling cold, as if there's somebody with us. Male or female? I felt female. Yeah, it's gone mm. now.
Oh. Somebody's tapping me on my shoulder. It was like this. Tap, 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 tap. That's when I was in that other room and I felt somebody's like, Go I felt like that, as if somebody had put the wrong. <laughs> Coming up. Oh. The rescue mediums witness a war of spirits. It's almost like it's a panic. Oh, I've just seen blood all over your face. Far from urban life, within this secluded home on St Andrew's Road, the rescue mediums have met a caretaker couple firmly connected to the residents. They're looking after it. A troubled female spirit. I've just heard screaming. And an anxious male presence. It's gone. No way, tell me that didn't happen. That is a clue, because that's showing us the outside and it's it showing is. us the trees, it isn't is it? Definite links to outside. Side. There's somewhere else we've not seen, isn't there? There's the pool room. Following this clue, Jackie and Alison return to the home's exterior. Their first stop is the family's pool room, accessible only through an outside door. What? Could see somebody looking in through the window. Really? Oh! OK, it's gone, it's gone. The spirit vanishes again. I think we need to go back outside. On the home's ample grounds, it's time for a midnight spirit quest. This yeah. is where we were before, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think this is where we need to be, don't we? I keep thinking somebody's watching us, you know, through those trees. Could have sworn I heard somebody behind us then. I can see shapes of through there. different people. Yeah, but, like, quite a few people. There's somebody down there, Al. I've just heard something behind us as well. They're, They're moving around. around. They're all around. Well, who are they? It's like they're surrounding us. They're getting closer. There's a man watching through the trees. Why can you bang him? I've just seen somebody falling. Oh, my God. Oh, I've just seen blood all over your face. As if something was coming from here all down that side. The ladies receive scenes from a tragic death. James. And William. There's somebody moving towards us on their own. She's looking for somebody. The distressed female spirit returns. I've got flashes of light. I can see this woman stood there and these lights are going like that all around her. Yeah. And she's going like this. It's almost like around. it's a panic, We're like looking. Is it her that needs a help or him? I don't know. Focusing on two spirits, Jackie and Alison concentrate their powers to determine if both need to be rescued. I can see those lights flashing. She's half gone over and come back because she wants to find him and she knows she can't find him. The ladies feel a powerful connection between these two spirits. I've got that sickly feeling. We'll tell them to oh. take that bit off. Somebody's bouncing a baby on the knee. You can feel all this pain here. I'm weakened with it. I'm really so weak with it. That's like a stroke, isn't it? I'm feeling the rigor mortis set in. I can see him looking in a mirror. Let's get her to stand behind, behind him. him so he'll see a reflection. As well as his right. own. Right. Okay. Yes, he's seen her. Oh, he's turning round now. 
She's stroking his hair. Oh, I'm ready. I can see that uh, man and that lady again. The caretaker couple earlier met materialize. The shine in the light for her. The help in her. Jackie and Allison sense this couple is using their own spiritual energy to assist with the rescue. Oh, isn't oh, that lovely? The rescue begins. Going to go through. Gone. <sighs> See you, <man. laughs> Next. Four days to die. The rescue mediums present their findings to the homeowner and his family and compare it to independent research. I think you know who this couple are. The rescue mediums are investigating this home on a secluded stretch of St. Andrew's Road, where they encounter the troubled female spirit lingering within the edges of the light. She wants to find him and she knows she can't find him. And a male presence trapped within a tragic past. Oh, I've just seen blood all over your face. And a kindly caretaker couple whose spiritual compassion assisted the rescue. Jackie and Allison sit down with the homeowner and his family to present the results of their investigation. What we're going to do now is we're going to tell you what happened. OK. We saw a male in the trees. There's a man watching through the trees. And then Jackie saw him in a different image, standing in front of a mirror, getting ready to meet his loved one. I can see him looking in a mirror. I'm ready. We felt that the man that we'd rescued was John Wellwood. Jackie and Allison believed that the rescued male spirit was named John Wellwood, who was born on November the 1st, 1842, in Queen's County, Ireland. At the age of five, John immigrated to Canada with his family. In 1876, he bought this plot of land where this house is and farmed here. He married a lady called by the name of Agnes. On April the 26th, 1876, John Wellwood married Agnes Wallace. They had nine children while farming this land. John died here on this property at the age of 84. He had a stroke. I think I've got a stroke condition with him. It took him four days mm. to die. On January the 31st, 1926, John Wellwood died from his stroke. Four years later, on November the 25th, 1930, Agnes succumbed to pneumonia and heart disease. But what kept this loving couple from entering the light? One of their children was called Lavina. She died when she was only a little baby. Somebody's bouncing a baby on the knee. Born on June the 10th, 1884, Lavina Wellwood was the couple's fifth child. Tragically, she passed when she was only three months of age. Unfortunately, this was not the only tragedy awaiting Agnes and John. We got the names James and William. James and William. William James Wellwood was the couple's ninth child. While serving his country in the First World War, his young life was cut short at the age of 21. Picking it banging. Ooh. I know. Killed in action at Passchendaele. Jackie and Allison believed that the deaths of their children was a paramount loss that kept John and Agnes from entering the light. We came across an elderly couple who were absolutely lovely. But who are the caretaker spirits that assisted with the rescue? And why are they so connected to this residence? Jackie and Allison believe their true identity was first revealed in these three premonitions. A creative person, Austria, and a gardener. Now, the people who built this house met in Austria. He was an actor and she was a singer. So I think you know who this couple mm -hmm. are. In 1958, Ben and Ida Mikwalski purchased the land once owned by Agnes and John Wellwood. Here, they built the house in which the homeowner currently resides. Ida planted this lovely garden you have now. 
We actually felt there was prizes that could have been... I'm getting chills, just as you're talking about gardens and stuff. She actually won an award for the tree. Largest tamaracks. Largest tamarack. We got those tamaracks out there. Ben and Ida sold the home in 1985. However, they routinely visited and were friends with the family until they passed away in the mid-1990s. And about the mid-90s, something started happening. They said they liked to keep a check on the place. Mm. They liked to keep an eye on Lily. Mm. They knew that the man outside needed help. Oh. Well, they were like grandparents oh. to us. They were desperately trying to get help for you. Because they care so much about you all. But he was so homesick. Mm. They tried to buy it back and they started coming around. We gave them the house keys because if we went home, they could. Mm -hmm. That's who you've heard. Oh. I literally hear a key going into the door. Well, I'd just like to thank both of you ladies for clearing this all up for us. Oh, <laughs> yeah. At least we can sleep in peace. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And you got your all oh, bless you. <laughs> The home now clear and free. The rescue mediums return for some special suds. Wasn't it a lovely rescue, that? It was stunning. And this picture falling off the wall. I know. There were so many spirits in the trees, weren't there? But at least we know they were good. How do you know they were good? Because, Jackie, good things always come in trees. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers!